Bellingham's proximity to the bay and the surrounding water means that it has a fascinating maritime history. The Lummies, who of course settled here first, still have a very strong and deep connection to the water. Now, over the years, as our town grew, it hosted a variety of fishing and boat building industries. Today, those same industries continue to capitalize on Bellingham's maritime features. Now, Bellingham's International Maritime Museum on Cornwall, near the old GP Mill, is capturing, honoring, and preserving some of this area's richest maritime history. If a visitor comes to the Bellingham International Maritime Museum, the one thing that they're going to see is boats, lots of boats, boats of all sizes, from little ones to larger ones, boats that have been used for recreational boating, commercial fishing, military uses. When the children first come in, when they react to something, that becomes then my favorite exhibit because they will immediately point and start running, and then I know, ah, this is my favorite today. And then the other, the other favorite I have is the Hovcraft. Well, this is probably one of the most popular pieces in the museum, and also it's significant because of its, uh, it's an absolute rarity. It's the sole surviving U.S. Navy patrol air cushion vehicle from Vietnam. It can go across water, it can go across land, it can go over sand dunes, it can go over ice. Uh, across swamps, and it's absolutely the most fun thing to operate of anything you've ever seen in your life. It's just like drifting sideways on ice all the time, so it's a great feeling. It was very effective um, in, in its uh, use in Vietnam, and the fact that it is the sole survivor puts it on a sort of Smithsonian level of rarity, so we're quite lucky to have it. Uh, one of the things about it that's interesting is that the gray hull behind is a uniflight PBR. We were able to track its history, and beyond belief, we found that the Mark I hull that we've got and this patrol air cushion vehicle served at the same base in Vietnam at the same time. They went their separate ways. They're both so totally rare that the idea that they're reunited in Bellingham under one roof is just statistically improbable, and it's, a, it's an absolutely magic sort of a deal. They're both wonderful craft, and we often think at night they sit down here and t talk, you know, war stories about the old days that they served together in Vietnam. I really like the models, and I like the models because they give a person a sense of being able to wrap their hands around an entire boat. And so often, you know, when we look at boats, all we see is what's above the water. You look at a model and you can see the construction there, you can see what's beneath the water, and you really get a sense of the variety of boats, what's different and what's similar. This is a model of a Liberty ship, an exact model taken off the plans. Now, it's an exact thing. The, everything on there is what you would see on a, on a Liberty ship. So, as I say, we're very proud these old babies hauled everything. Yeah, there, there wasn't any commodity or anything that was ever manufactured that the services needed that they didn't get right on one of these. One of the things that we learned early on, when we started the museum, we thought, boy, this is going to be just great fun. We're going to go out and find these great old uh, vessels like the PBRs, and we'll collect them and we'll put them back in, in the water and, and rehabilitate them and restore them and all that sort of stuff. And then we started having veterans who heard about us come from around the country to see these old vessels that they'd served on in Vietnam and in combat. We soon learned that this wasn't so much about the vessels, it was about the people. And we've had some wonderful people who have come in and been just very moved emotionally by being reunited with the craft they actually physically served on. Until the existence of the museum, there really was no place that people could come to take in the rich history that exists here. Um, things like archaeological finds, um, anchors that the museum has recovered from ships that have grounded out in the seas around here. We've been lucky enough to be chosen one of 200 museums to have uh, the Smithsonian Institute provide a, an, an exhibit for us called From Sea to Shining Sea, a history of uh, uh, charting the, the coasts of America. 
I'm just so pleased that we have an opportunity to have a museum like this that people in our community and people from around the country and around the world can visit. And I'm also pleased that we've gotten such support from the local community, from the port, from the city. It makes me know that a museum like this will continue to grow and thrive, and that makes me really happy. You can visit the museum at 800 Cornwall Avenue in Bellingham on Saturdays from noon to 3, or you can call 592-4112 for an appointment.